Alhamdulillahirrabbilalameen. <clears throat> Let me repeat that a few times and then we'll go into details. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalameen. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalameen. Okay. So what this means is basically you're saying that all perfect praises and thanks belongs to the Rabb, the Lord of the universe, everything that exists. Now, when we say this thing, reflect on this. You know, we, we praise a lot of people. We praise a lot of technology. We pray, praise like beauty. We praise, you know, g parks, gardens, rivers, mountains, um, you know, waterfalls, so many different things, fruits, food. But who is the creator of all those things? Okay. Another way also to look at it is that when we praise people or things, we are usually praising them for what they are, their own performance, their creativity, their uh, power, their techniques, and so on and so forth. Uh, this may this may not be related to what they have done for us. Okay. So this is something very important to realize that the one worthy of all praises is Allah, because He is the creator of everything else that you like, that you praise. Think about it. Yeah. So even if you the, the creation that you know of that you appreciate, the creation that you do not know of, the ideas, the inspirations, everything is created by Allah. And not only created, as we discussed last time, the meaning of Lord, Rob, it includes creator, owner, and the one who has complete control, the one who is completely in charge, the one who is completely um, able to govern the affairs to sustain his creation. Okay, so remember, imagine when you are doing this in your prayers to, to, to connect with Allah, to realize his uh, magnificence, to realize who he is and to really connect with him and to realize the opportunity uh, and the blessing that we have to be in, to be having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him in the prayers. So this is um, very important and this is very helpful in helping us increase our love for Allah. Okay, now we can go into uh, some of the details about how do we uh, pronounce this thing, pronounce this uh, first uh, phrase. Okay, al, simple, ham, okay, du, lil, la, he. <clears throat> okay, so my bad, um, excuse me for my voice. So this is again capital H. So remember last time we talked about it. So this is not he, it's he. Alham, so the one with lower H you can see is like ha, right? I'm, I'm saying it from the middle of the throat. So alhamdulillahi rabbil. So again, I have capital R because of the heaviness, rabbil. And then here, apostrophe is what I'm using for, if you recall, <clears throat> excuse me, throw the middle of the throat. Ah, ah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. So simple, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Okay, until next time, assalamu alaikum.